in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Please look up. In Africa and in Nigeria, there are markets that are designated for certain things. Is that true? There's what we call in Abuja here, fish market. Which other one do we have? We have all kinds of markets that focus on certain things. You cannot go to a fish market looking for material, clothes. You most likely may not find it there. But there are malls that they will tell you this is home for everything almost everything you are looking for they call it a one-stop shop for everything for as long as you step in there you go to large malls like dubai malls you can step in there and literally the only thing i'm sure they don't sell there are human beings anything at all people took out time to intelligently make sure that everything is there when you become like that mall you see that so the sick know that if I come, there is something for me. Those who say, I am not sick, but it's just still a place for me. My life is not going forward. There is still something for them. All men seek for you. You must trust God for an encounter with power. Let's stop making noise, giving explanations, wasting help those under the anointing, wasting the time of God's people. It takes power. It takes power. To turn dreams to reality it takes power to bring healing to the sick every testimony that you see here is a product of power the prophecy upon your life is power dependent for its manifestation man of God you must desire the power of God genuine empowerment sincerity of heart is good but it's not enough Don't be like the fig tree that has green leaves and yet no figs. What kind of power are you receiving tonight? Number one, the power to get wealth. There is such a thing as the power to get wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that giveth thee the power some versions say the ability to produce wealth the power to get wealth listen there are ideas that produce wealth there is your value that you turn to products and services and sell it to a targeted consumer base to produce wealth but there is the power to prosper The power to get wealth. Most people have not encountered the power to get wealth. Most people have ideas that produce wealth. Most people have skills that produce wealth. But you are like that fridge with no light. You are like a television that can show different channels but no light. More than your skills and beyond your skills... It takes the power of the Holy Spirit. Why am I telling you this? Because this is what is going to land on your life this night. <laughs> Apostle, I have a shop but no customers. What is wrong? Absence of power, not absence of products. There are clearly products there. And it is true that your products are needed. There are more than enough people for someone to come there. But it takes power. The gentleman who said he had a dream he had been building and it got to i think zinking or somewhere lintel level and it stopped there for a long time 
the spirit that brings you close to it and yet you never truly actualize it the power to get wealth God is able to bring power God is able to increase people and then let me tell you this one of the assignments of the power to get wealth number one it is a supernatural empowerment that comes upon you and it will draw people it will draw opportunities and it will draw resources to you but you see the power to get wealth is also the power that opens your eyes to see there is a relationship between prosperity and your sight hear what i'm telling you i want to reveal a mystery for you if your eye is blind you will be poor it says lift up your eyes and see as far as your eyes can see isaiah 45 verse 3 isaiah 45 verse 3 tonight's miracle service was made for you and i will give thee the treasures of darkness question there are treasures but the problem is that they are in a place where there is no light how do you now know that they are there if you do not have the power to see you can pass it and not know if i drop a bundle of money here cash and i off the light and make sure this place is dark you can keep pushing it as many times and yet not see i will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that i the lord which calleth thee by name i am the god of israel the treasures of darkness do you know why God put darkness there? So that no one else will see it until the person appointed. The treasures of darkness. Some of you, by reason of this impartation, you will pass a land you have been looking every day. And this time around, you say, I'm seeing something that no one else is seeing. Every major business today you see, believe me when I tell you, it was a treasure in darkness. It was always there but the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see if your eye is blind you would stand and weary yourself at the gates of prosperity and not be able to see can I tell you if everybody see what you are seeing they can't reward you for it there is nothing unique when everybody is seeing. You can't clap for me for seeing what you are seeing. No, but if I am seeing what you are not seeing and I can bring it out and make it visible to you, then you have to reward me for reaching into darkness with that light. The power to prosper can place something on your destiny and you start seeing in a desert, you will see an oasis there because the veil has been taken away from your eyes please listen to me most of us continue to pass wealth every day but because of the blindness of our sight you can sit down and with the eyes to see God can reveal secrets to you and in one moment look at that gentleman for God's sake he found out that nothing else was working in his life didn't go to school didn't do anything and he just felt Lord what will I what can I do and he went to the field do you know there are many football fields he would have gone to the one where his destiny helper is not he will still be playing football but it takes the eyes to see listen when i pray this prayer you will know who to not relate with and who to relate with because there is jonah and there is jesus beware of who is on your boat don't carry jonah in the in a bit to look for jesus listen carefully you need the seeing eyes businessmen listen to me without the seeing eyes everything looks like white from a distance it's until it comes close you say ah no this is black the seeing eyes satan always comes as an angel of light 
there are some of you the financial troubles you got into in your life is because of blindness you thought it was this and found out it was not the power to prosper corrects your vision so that you are able to see why am i taking out time to tell you this so that when we start praying you don't just fall and stand for nothing you know what you are receiving the financial testimonies that will arise from tonight's miracle service will bring glory to the name of the lord can i tell you this hear me i'm saying this prophetically you will hear testimonies of nobodies people who as they are standing here they are still surprised by themselves say what has brought me to this realm products of prophecy do you believe what i'm telling you yes sir the power to prosper man of god listen to me if you have the power to heal and the power to do all of these things if there is no power to prosper on your ministry you are going to compromise it's only a matter of time i assure you no matter how much a man of integrity you are the bills of ministry will squeeze you to a point where you will get into things that are not godly there are many people who started well but financial pressure pushed them remember i've taught you the scripture every time there is hunger israel will go to egypt to look for food when satan wants to take you to egypt he uses hunger because when there is hunger you will leave the place of covenant and promise to a place of compromise in search for food many people have sold their hands today you see all these are young people who are doing money rituals all around some of those boys were born from christian families don't downplay the hunger of people to feel like their life is making meaning nobody will sit down and keep growing older and their lives at least financially is not making meaning they will join groups they will join all kinds of things ah somebody needs to arise oh somebody needs to arise you, you need to be angry. You need to be angry. You need to be angry. Angry at your current level. In one minute, just pray in the spirit. I will see continue, but just pray in one minute in the spirit. in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me brothers and sisters remember sir isaac newton taught us that anybody will remain in a state of rest or uniform motion it will remain there for as long as it is kept there except compelled by an external force to act otherwise that means your destiny will remain where it is until a force from heaven comes to push it. Listen, I came tonight as a prophetic midwife to tell you where you have stand. It's enough. It's enough. It's time for you to move for God's sake. It is enough in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise from these ashes. It's time for you to fly like the eagle that you are. Micah 2 10. Give it to us, please. Ah. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. This is a prophetic word for someone. It just came to my spirit now. Read it from the depth of your heart. Are you ready? One to read. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction if you remain at that level it will destroy you arise it is not your rest this is not your place you are an eagle stop dwelling around with chickens in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray this scripture in one minute lord i arise i arise it's time to arise this is not my rest i arise i depart from this level Sh 
Shakata Pranda Kapa Super Katalia Kata. I arise in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, I arise. Financially, I arise. As touching the greatness that you have placed upon my spirit, I arise. Someone pray. This is not my rest. This is not my rest. I refuse to settle for less. Man of God, pray. Thank God for what God has done. So find your ministry. But this is not your rest. Evangelist, pray. This is not your rest. Prophet, pray. Politician, pray. This is not your rest. Professional, pray. This is not your rest. Please pray. This is a miracle service. You have prayed yourself to a new level. This is not my rest. In business, this is not my rest. As touching the call of God. What I saw in my vision is yet to happen physically. I will give him no rest because this is not my rest. Financially, this is not your rest. listen listen look up everybody what does it take to live where you are to the next level on the part of God power on your part anger and hunger two things anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season if you are not angry enough you will remain there giving excuses and if you are not hungry enough you cannot be filled man of god you will remain at that level of the anointing praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed it won't work that way the nations won't place a demand upon you that way that is the honest truth professional uh -uh. not at that level Someone is going to pray. Father, I am tired of this level. I am both angry at this level. Thank you for this level. But Lord, I know that I am overdue. When a baby stays more than nine months in his mother's womb, he calls for concern. When a baby stays in his mother's womb, if it is before nine months, that's fine. The baby has to be patient. But above nine months, doctors will tell us there is a problem. Lift your voice and pray. Bring a performance, oh God, at another level. Bring a performance in ministry. Bring a performance in family. Bring a performance in my finances. Bring a performance in my destiny. Empowerment from heaven. The grace that turns dreams to their reality. Outside are you praying? Inside are you praying? Shata branda gata katosko toprash, ela kata branda zagatish kali kaposka sine kata, manda praka toshko dobla zikete breskiya.
power of the Holy Ghost coming upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen. When God answers your prayer, how does he answer it? By giving you power. God answers prayer by sending power. The power that turns that desire to its reality. Now listen, I'm going to pray on your prayer request. But before I start ministry, you are going to pray on it by yourself. And declare that Lord, in this season, this and that and that, make your request known as you pray. Please do not keep quiet. And don't say God cannot do it all. Don't entertain unbelief. You don't have to lift it up. Even if it's written somewhere, you just begin to pray. Mention everything by name. Father, it is within your power to make great. It is within your power to prosper. It is within your power to lift. Someone pray. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Listen carefully, please. In the name of Jesus. Can I tell you? I know definite times in my life where certain levels of empowerment came and I knew the change when we started this work you see and I say this with every sense of responsibility and humility as at the time this work started this thing called the power to get wealth was not there there were ideas I was reading materials and learning because I knew that doing ministry with integrity will need resources and I didn't want to go around inconveniencing people every day. God's people will give, but church can't be about money every time. And then you can't be demanding money from people and not release the grace that empowers them. Do you know, let me tell you, when the anointing of God rests upon people who truly love you and they are blessed, you don't even have to ask them for anything. They will be too grateful to live. They will never allow you to beg for tea and bread not within there are people who have the hearts to give listen something is about to fall here right now that's why i wanted to listen i remember praying and studying i had learned principles and a day came i had to study the life of abraham david and study these people i said i found a missing link i was already anointed though but just because you have the anointing is not like a general purpose tool uh -uh. The anointing is assignment specific. The anointing for prosperity will not bring healing. No. Their allocations are different. You can have a first aid box with many drugs. They are all called drugs. You cannot carry the drug for high blood pressure and swallow it for headache. You are causing trouble. The design, they are all drugs. You go to a doctor, a professional, and he will diagnose you. Oh, you have malaria. He will give you the drugs for malaria even if you have malaria and another sickness most times doctors will choose which one to treat first when you are fine they will change the drug and treat the other thing many of you have received many impartations you can know the one that is missing this night don't keep quiet but as far as god spoke to me oh this issue of the power to prosper i've done teachings on prosperity many of you have given but I want you to be angry. Know that God is able to help men. You are Ebenezer. Ah. You are 
This I know about the helper of man. You are Ebenezer. You are Ebenezer. Listen. You are Ebenezer. The lifter of men. You are Ebenezer. God can help men stop struggling alone. You are Ebenezer. You are I remember praying and crying to God and say, Lord, this work is enormous. The apostolic and the prophetic ministry requires a lot. Let this grace, for God's sake, come upon my life and also come upon this vision. The power to prosper can be on you as a man of God and not be on your ministry. You will prosper while the ministry suffers. The power to prosper can be on the ministry and not on you. The ministry will prosper and leave you to suffer and you will start compromising. Can I tell you this? When that grace came, with all due respect and honor to Jesus, I knew it has come to stay. The Bible says, listen, it says on the day of Pentecost, all of a sudden they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it came and rested or sat. It didn't visit and go back. There are graces that can sit and rest on you. When it stays on you, that is it. I submit to you with all humility. Every devil and every principality from hell knows that this is a ministry God has helped. The ministry is not the building. The ministry is you. And you must answer that name this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. It does not matter what spirit of poverty has tied down people in your family. You saw people educated to PhD, but they could not build a single house. That is a wicked spirit. When your level of intellectual investment does not match your financial rewards, something is wrong with that equation. And then number two, we are going to pray that God will move us. Do you know, let me tell you this any sincere man of god who loves his people your greatest joy is not your personal testimony if someone buys me a car today or buys me a plane or builds me a house thank god for all of that but that is not really the testimony i'll come and share here my greatest joy today is to sit down and hear people saying i came from a family with nothing serving idols and now i am on fire for jesus loving jesus and see what god has done that's right now that's a testimony you must be a wicked leader to rejoice over your results as above and against the people god has sent you to the real joy of a leader is not his personal testimony but to know that god's people are growing in leaps and bounds can i tell you man of god this may be a secret for you to learn when there are genuine testimonies not stage managed not exaggerated genuine workings of god's power in your ministry it is impossible for that ministry to be empty lord lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land a higher place than i have found lord plant my feet on higher ground the last prayer and then it will be a very quick one in this place tonight father i vow that as you cause me to be great it will not distract my work with you Rather, it will give me an opportunity to serve your purposes. Lift up your voice and pray that sincere prayer. Someone is praying. Pray and let my God surprise you tonight. Pray and let the one who backs us up surprise you tonight. 
Lord, that my greatness will not be an interruption to my spiritual life. It will not be an interruption to my love and my fire for you. That is usually the condition. If the nations will see him through your greatness, if the nations will know him through your greatness, then there is no limits to what he can do. If that greatness will not bring pride, arrogance, Hallelujah. I wish I had the liberty to share some of my testimonies. But sometimes we live in a world where people misunderstand everything men of God say. Once you say A, people will say you said A to Z. And it, it turns out to not even edify people again. But I will tell you one or two. Listen carefully. I remember a time when a real estate company came and met me and they said sir God gave us an instruction that everywhere on earth we build an estate that will build a house for you it's our covenant with God anywhere on earth across the globe for as long as this company exists just know that anywhere you see us building an estate I don't know how many estates they have built now across the world if if you tell me the power to prosper does not work think again hallelujah i remember a company of wealthy people who came and met me and said apostle god said we should make you a non-executive board member of this company what for what do you people do this and that and that and that this is the instruction God gave. So what will be my contribution to your company? That spiritual advantage. You represent the ark of God to our business. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry. You see, this is why sometimes some, it's good to say certain things to just help you know that the man standing before you here is not talking nonsense. Let me tell you, if you think this is just a preacher's talk motivating you, think again. I submit to you with all humility what it takes to run koinon, one koinonia service is what many people may use for conferences. Believe me when I tell you. What it takes to run one koinonia service. You've never seen anybody come here to cry, to manipulate, to say this and that. You see, when God sends a word to Jacob, it lights upon Israel. We are not the inventors of these things. We also received it from the carriers. He said, go to them that sell and buy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our world today only wants people to brag. Once you are bragging and making noise, doing a lot of things, aha. Uh -huh. But once you are modest and humble and you live your life with modesty, sometimes we say these things not to attract conflict. That every devil in hell knows that till Jesus comes, this ministry will not know poverty. Just believe me when I tell you. No, 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 no. It's not a prayer point. I'm telling you what has happened. It will only be from glory to glory. It's not pride. Please, I'm sorry if it looks like I'm arrogant. I'm only describing for you what must start happening in your life from this night. Apostle, I'm coming from a background where nobody knows me. Apostle, right now, as I'm standing here, I'm in debt of one billion, five hundred million. Fine rest. You are not the first to get into debt. Please. There are people who have been into debt of billions of dollars and God brought them out. Fine rest. Can I tell you, for anyone who is owing here, business is not what you use to solve debt. Prophecy. Go and read your Bible. Every time you are in debt, let me save you trouble. 
is not doing another business that will bring you out it is the power of prophecy alas master for it was borrowed we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on you so you do what you do we need a move hallelujah at the count of three we are going to pray in fact please my people hold your hands let me start with you people this is my dear leaders look at me in the name of jesus may this power to prosper come on you take that place right now in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead i release you to strange dimensions of prosperity and increase that people will arise and begin to help you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus be shifted to a new level mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth even by the power of god now i decree and declare at the count of three i want you to shout jesus please bring those under the anointing some of you come from families where nobody has risen my god is about to lift you are you ready now father may this anointing this man to come upon your people please bring them out at the count of three one two three shout jesus take that grace now take that grace now bring them out please take that grace now i lift you by prophecy from where you are i shift you to a new season please help those my god please whether you're an usher or not just help the ushers we have to hurry up now someone's life is changing i don't care what financial situation by the power that raised christ from the dead such as i have give i unto you step into a new season of prosperity open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray lord you are changing my life changing my story please bring them out very quickly let's hurry up if you can as many as you can if you can't bring them out that's all right but we have to hurry up someone pray don't wait till you fall under the anointing open your mouth and begin to pray a renaissance of financial possibilities from your lowly estate my god is lifting you hallelujah where's jimmy please arrange for him to come and sing that song the lifter of men just the chorus david Dam, you help whether it's a guitar or whatever if the keyboardist cannot play let someone help him very quickly please please bring them out quickly Bring them out my god something is breaking out here outside inside those following from any nation the power of god to lift and to prosper is resting upon you hear me hear me some of you by reason of this anointing i'm seeing at least 13 people at least 13 people 
at least 13 people. Your destiny is not even in this country. This is what I'm seeing as God is showing me. Right now, that anointing is going to come upon you. Don't ask me how it will happen. Parande shekete balata. I relocate you now by prophecy. Go to your place of prophecy. Go to your place of destiny. I pick you abakatos kata from where you are. The land where you must prosper. May my God take you there now. May my God take you there now. and whichever region where your prosperity is tied I shift you by prophecy go to that region now I release you let the limitations leave you now can I tell you this it is a dangerous thing to be in a place and there are people who are watching me you are outside this nation, but your destiny is in this nation. You are roaming around across the globe and finding out that even when you go to a place of plenty, there is no peace because you must be in your assigned place. I relocate you back to your place of assignment. Can I tell you this? Hear me. Hear me. All through my time of ministry, I'd been in Zaria. I'd become so emotionally connected there. But I knew when the season was done for my assignment there. It was a very difficult thing. But I knew that if I do not move where God is moving, as far as my assignment is concerned. Some of you, this is the simple key you came to receive. You can be roaming about. There are some of you who want to travel abroad. It's not in the blueprint of your destiny. You may visit and come back. But just because you hear that people are roaming around, there are still people suffering in every nation. Don't just emotionally enter the plane and go and die. My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Lifter of men I will hold on hear me I want to pray for those who are in any kind of financial trouble watch the power of prophecy bring you out of any financial situation hear me there are people some of you are owing some of you made careless business decisions and as it is right now it is only the God of heaven who can lift you I pray for your spiritual life and I'll pray again but this night we want to deal with these things some of you are under corporate debt you may not be the individual in trouble, but you are under corporate debt. Your organization is owing all kinds to the millions and billions. God can help men. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by this anointing, anyone here who is in any kind of debt or financial situation, personally corporately ministries that are owing and are in trouble businesses that are owing and are in trouble individuals that are owing and are in trouble in the name of jesus christ come out of that debt now come out of that debt now by the ministry of destiny help us come out of that debt now Hallelujah. 
there are spirits that have moved from family to family ensuring everybody remains poor a family of everyone educated nobody working everyone educated nobody the highest salary may be twenty thousand. yes we are grateful but that cannot be enough now i want to pray fire will come upon you god is going to set you free because there are many hear me your salvation tonight is not just for you alone it's for your family members there are many of you i decree and declare any family here under a spiritual yoke maybe something happened in time past and a cause or a pronouncement was made over your family that keeps recycling poverty and financial struggles right now at the count of three please bring them under the anointing as you shout jesus that altar will catch fire now please bring them out are you ready one two three shout jesus i break financial yokes please bring them out i break financial yokes every spirit recycling patterns of poverty every spirit whether you are an usher or not please help those under the anointing every spirit outside inside following online responsible for lack and poverty and want as the church of the lord jesus christ and by the blood of the eternal covenant we set you free tonight 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 open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray i release myself from every embargo someone pray i decree and declare a prophetic release every embargo every yoke it tied down my father it tied down my grandfather it tied down wicked people i am a righteous man in christ and i decree and declare that by the blood of the eternal covenant i appropriate my healing and my deliverance one more minute you are praying i break free from this embargo i break free from this embargo i break free from this embargo i break free financial embargo i cost you hallelujah hallelujah please look up by the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of meeting and learning from extremely wealthy people. Extremely wealthy people. I am not in ignorance. I submit to you by the privilege of God's grace as to the financial principles and the systems that make for the blessing. This prayer and this miracle service is by no means excusing your, your fortitude to comply with financial principles that bless you but let me tell you something and let me teach you something there are only two ways financial resources will enter your life only two ways number one value that is exchanged number two favor that is it there is no other way financial resources will enter your pocket your value packaged and turned into products and services Garnish with excellence and serve to a, a targeted consumer base. That's what you call business. That is one dimension. But then the other is called favor. I want to show you how God restored Job. Job 42 verse 10. My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men The lifter of men I will hold on through the storm. This is for someone. I will hold on through the rain. My life will soon reveal. You are the lifter of men. Lifter of. Sing it one more time as a prophecy. That I will hold on to the.
the storm uh, I will hold on to the rain My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of man The lifter of man Can I tell you this? There is no one here under the sound of my voice or will there ever be whose situation is worse than that of Job? Let me show you what God can do. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. Thank God for that, but we want to know how it happened. Are you ready? Next verse. Verse 11. <laughs> read with me if you're a Christian. One, two, read. hold on hold on hold on are you seeing how god restored him number one then came to him all his brethren every next level and finances you are trusting god for is in the hands of men until the men come you cannot get what is in their hands it says then there came unto him where were they when he was crying the bible says god turned so how does god turn he places something upon your life that will start compelling people to start coming there came unto him his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before they were the ones that made him prosper before that means how did poverty come to his life something was taken away from him and everybody left physically how did God restore it something came I'm, I'm showing you because it's something is about to come on you now please read it are you ready one to read then came there unto him all his brethren uh -huh, and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Now here's the secret. Read. And every man. How many men? There is something that comes on you that makes every man bless you not just those who do business with you every man every man read on please want to go every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold can i tell you this some of you have gone through serious financial hardship god organized this miracle service to bring financial healing to bring financial deliverance and I'm showing you how it happened because we are going to pray now I've taught you the ministry of destiny help us these are men anointed commissioned by God to pay attention to your destiny not everyone is a destroyer there are people who can enter your life like they entered the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around who would have told him that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came it is what is on you that controls what is around you. Every man gave him a piece of money. Every man gave him a piece of money. And everyone an earring of gold. Father, who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level? I declare, place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. Place that grace. This is a miracle service. Make sure you are praying. Place that grace upon my life, oh God, that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me. Place that grace upon my life. Forget about where you have been. Pray.
please pray. I will hold on through the storm. I will hold on to your word. My story is about to change. You are the lifter of men, the lifter of men. Lord, I will hold on to the storm. I will hold on to your word. My life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men. Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. I submit to you by God that there are more than enough people in any city to be used by God to lift you. Nobody will come and lift you on their own. I've told you this. There is the power that rests upon your head. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. Please place your hand on your head. Just place your hand on your head. Father, this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all. My God and my King, upon every head, right here, inside, all the overflows outside i am praying Paracosia. lord the grace that must rest upon them that will compel the helpers of destiny to gravitate towards them in the name of jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put down your hands. Who is Christy? I'm hearing the name Christy. My assignment tonight is to deal with the issues. Christy. Who is that? Where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. I presume there may be many Christies. But your life is about to change. And in case I'm prophesying to people, you open your heart and receive. What God says to one, he says to all. Are we together? I don't mean to embarrass you, but please hear me. There's a prophetic word. I won't ask the person to come out for social reasons. There is a lady here. A man kept you in a house. Hold on now. Let me finish the prophecy. You don't know what I'm about to say. Just hold on let's be patient and let prophecy finish before so that you don't answer yes to something that a man kept you in a house listen to me that man is married with his wife but he kept you in a house somewhere you are in, in a relationship with the man and he kept you in a house somewhere i want you to know that that man is going to destroy you he has lied to you and made you believe that if he does not help you where will you get help I'm advising you in this miracle service in the name of Jesus and with every sense of responsibility. I know it is not easy. It's easy to tell people you are working in this and that. You must be ready to help people when you want them to make that decision. But let me tell you, whoever that person is, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. I want you to pack out of that place because with what I'm seeing, that man did not just keep you there. There is something occultic that he's doing there. You hear what I'm saying? I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of God back out of there he may be giving you 10 naira but he's taking the glory of what two million from you and we have to be careful as believers sometimes you know why it is important to empower believers like this because if we don't empower believers when people are desperate they will do anything for money they will come to church and remove the 10 percent and drop it but they know where they got it from so it's not enough to just criticize people and say you are this, you are following men, you are following women, you are following whatever. No, 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 no. We have to empower people first. Then we'll tell them this is how it is done in the kingdom. 
there are many parents today who are enjoying a lot of financial blessings from their children and dancing and they do not know the dirty and demonic things their children are doing to bring money and it's easy to insult them like we always like doing in church when we hear of people's situations we are not rational to sit down and think and approach it from a heart of love God brought you people out here by his spirit. I want to pray for you. Madam, your suffering has come to an end this night. Please leave her. Careful, careful, so you don't enjoy her. I know what I just saw. I want to pray for her. Hi. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You see, let me tell you something, my dear people. For as long as God brought you here this night, I assure you by God that the power that will stop you from receiving your testimony is not in existence. I'm looking at this woman in a vision and I'm seeing a woman suffering bad luck anybody that says he will bless this woman something must happen to them and they will neglect them if there is anybody like that people keep making promises tomorrow they will say next week they will say whatever is stopping them from reaching out to you I cast it to his root in the name of Jesus I cast it to his root in the name of Jesus hallelujah please don't 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 I, I don't want you to feel offended the, may god bless you madam i want to pray for you i'm seeing a woman you are a widow oh dear this woman has suffered oh this woman you are a widow and if i don't pray for you it's nothing at all is coming from anyone it's as if you don't have children it's as if nothing is happening you are you are quite an aged woman i don't know who that person is the lord is asking me to call that person and let me pray for that person you are a woman an elderly woman you are a widow but honestly as it is sincerely that you love god sincerely but absolutely nothing is happening this woman i'm seeing i know you came out but i'm seeing this woman at the overflow outside the overflow outside the overflow outside I'm not just praying for every widow of course I will pray for you if you come out but the particular person I want to pray for you are outside father you are the God that can open every door there is no mystery as to how finances come it is not magic it will always happen through men the Bible says good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give shall men give the lord called that name christy and i want to pray for you for some of you you are standing as altars over your family because god wants to wipe the tears of your family in the name of jesus christ the power of god will come on you right now and believe me the only thing that will bring you up stage here after this prayer is your testimony therefore i stretch my hands right now every embargo up over your finances an anointing is coming on you right now release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus I open this door in the spirit and I declare walk into your high places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here you are owing medical bills you are owing as I'm speaking now you are owing medical bills even to the millions you are owing medical bills I don't know who that person is whether you are watching online or you are here it's like there's somebody let me tell you this I'm going to pray for the sick shortly do you know that many manifestations of sickness is actually an attack on your finances it's not about the sickness because there is a relationship between your health and your wealth the sicker you are the more your finances will tell to so when satan wants to attack your finances one of the ways he does is to plant a mysterious sickness it will not go up it will not go down it will remain there and keep eating finances if there is anything i know 
that can destroy finances overnight is held no matter how wealthy you think you are pray that you are not plagued or somebody around you plagued there are people who spend as much as a million naira every week to be alive if you have saved even if it's hundred million in how long we would have depleted everything people have had to sell their houses because of finances people have had to sell everything they spent their life building hear me God is able to lift you from that yoke I will be praying for we are not going to take testimonies that our time is gone we may not take testimonies of people to pray tonight I want to deal because we've not even gotten to greatness I must spend the next 15 minutes and flog this thing out it must step over your life honor and greatness we are dealing with finances Say to those that are fearful hearted, do not be afraid. It's a word of comfort to somebody. The Lord your God is strong and in his mighty hands when you call on his name. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, Your God will surely come. He will come and save you. My God will come and save you. He will come and save you. Those of you who are here, the the the, the wither that came. Now let me tell you this. Do you know any day you see any widow or someone who is genuinely bereaved and incapacitated, even if it is ten naira you can give them, it is a blessing unto God. You see that? Remember the widow at Nain? She had lost all the men in her life. Her husband, a symbol of her strength and defense, had gone. And now her child, who represented her future, was also gone. When Jesus saw her condition, he said, no, we can't leave you this way. And he brought up the child. Nobody prays to lose anyone. But if and when it happens, it is important to stand with them and stand by them to pray. God is able to help. We can't promise you that every day everybody will be giving you money but we can promise you that something can be placed upon your life that will insist and ensure that you are not left without help let me pray for you in the name of jesus christ my dear look at me you're a widow you are standing for who your mom where is she don't cry Jesus is able to help you. You see, let me tell you this. You can't comfort people who mourn when your hand is empty. I hope you know that. Because after you pray for them and do whatever you do, some of them will stand and they're expecting that even if it's 10 naira, you put something in their pocket. And it's easy for us to make a lot of noise in church and talk and say this and that and that, God will do it. You must reject poverty in your life. There's no reason why you should remain the way you are, not after this miracle service. Father, I pray for these ones. You are the only one who knows how it feels, oh God. But in the name of Jesus, by your spirit, you call them out to change their lives. And I pray right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Turn their lives around release that grace upon them your physical husbands may have gone but may God become that husband for you 
and ensure that your needs are supplied to the latter in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that the hand of God rests upon your life I don't know but I just feel in my heart to say this and I say it respectfully anyone here who is a widow or who has lost a loved one and there are people who are troubling you in the name of Jesus Christ we agree right now may the troublers of your destiny go now now you see anybody who troubles a woman who does not have strength on her own under normal circumstances must be a wicked person don't cry in the name of Jesus I'm praying again anyone who is troubling you maybe something you labored with your husband to get and now just because he's gone people are bullying you and bringing all kinds of trouble I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare may your troublers depart from you right now in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead I use this once in front to pray for every other person and I decree in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God that anyone who is troubling any widow here and will not let her have peace except otherwise but I pray that if the fault is not from them may God show them mercy immediately in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I pray that every man destined and appointed by God to hold your hands no matter who and what you have lost especially your husbands I pray for you may God raise genuine people with no strings attached who will hold your hands and see that you don't cry again in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen let's celebrate them as they go god bless you you will return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus are you ready for the next prayer to be great means to live where you are and go to the next level of your life to be great means to rise to a point where you can also be a blessing you can't always be the one looking up you need to rise to a point where you can look down and reach to others father whatever it takes for my greatness release it upon me someone lift your voice and pray don't be tired tonight is a good bargain tonight is a good bargain by the spirit go ahead and pray lord whatever it takes finance influence relationships results opportunities release it upon my life 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 hallelujah hallelujah please look up God is able to make people great from where they are to the next level Genesis 26 13 give us new King James Version please if you can NKJV read with me ready one to read and the man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous verse 14 hmm. for he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants so the philistines envied him next verse 15 hold on hold on hold on go back to King James now 
I want to show you something because there is a name God is about to call someone. For all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham, his father. So the man had struggles. The Bible takes out time to tell you. He did not just become very great like that. There were struggles. They dug a well. The Philistines had stopped them and filled it with the earth. 16. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, he said, go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. When you read the verses after for the sake of time, it will tell you that he dug a well and they covered it. He named it. He dug a well, they covered it. And the third one, they left him and he called it Rehoboth. He says, for God has given me my own space. My own space. My own space. I want to pray for you. The grace for greatness is a real grace. Read your Bible. Look at Abraham. Read your Bible. Look at Sarah. Read your Bible. Look at Esther. Read your Bible. Joshua, Gideon, ordinary people. You can start from where you are, but you should not remain there. You must rise for the Bible declares that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day what is greatness to be elevated to a position in life and destiny where you enjoy the blessings of productivity the blessings of influence and now you can reach down to people and also be a blessing to them in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed if that happens to you that is the epitome of greatness God wants to set us free from this life of always hoping that someone will rise and help you it is in your destiny to rise too. I want to speak over your life do you believe in the power of prophecy When God Hello beloved in Christ, we hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching